Hey YouTube, how you all doing? How's the RC hobby going? Hope it's going well. Today I'm going to talk about this iconic beast here, the Tamiya Grasshopper and the reasons why everybody that's into RC should own a Tamiya Grasshopper. Now, the first reason is, I mean look at this thing, look how sick it looks. So much history, retro looking, um, just an amazing looking vehicle and it's a it's a must have for every collection. My one I bought as a kit, I built it and it's a shelf queen. Um, I don't use this car because it's just I like to have it in my collection for the, the retro side of it. It's just a, a good one to have, you know, and not to run. I've got plenty of other cars that I run. Um, I don't need to run this car. If I so choose to, I can. But um, personally, in my opinion, I I don't need to. But anyway, another good reason why you should own this vehicle is the build is really, really fun. It's, it's pretty simple. There's not a lot to it, you know. Um, you see the shocks, or they're not oil filled or anything. They're just springs. That's why they call them a hopper. Because when they're racing along the grass, you see they bounce because they haven't got controlled oil suspension or anything like this. Um, so they're basic to build, and you learn, you get a wealth of knowledge from building a car like this about RC. You can go from not only building it to its form you've got here, but also the electronic side of it if you want to get it running, like putting a. Uh, transmitter and a receiver in it you know um your esc wiring all that up your little your steering servos you know so i've got all the the gear here to get these tamiya cars going which i'm going to do not this particular one but a rising fighter that i'm going to get going um but yeah so you learn so much you, you honestly do from them from building a car like this you'll learn rc in and out how differentials work and whatnot because you just get a bag of parts you've got to put together another reason why they're a good car to have in your collection like if you've got say like a race buggy like one tenth scale full-on race buggy there and you've got a lossy short course truck or what have you in your collection that are quite valuable to you and then your your teenage niece or nephew comes along and they want to have a car to run you know that with one of those, they're just too quick and they're going to just end up crashing into a fence and the car will disintegrate. So that's when you can pull out your grasshopper for your younger people. They've got a 380 motor in them. They're quite slow. And they're tough. They're pretty tough. You know, they don't go fast enough that if you hit something, they're going to disintegrate. It's pretty hard to... If anything, they, can, they are going to break. It will be years and years and years and years in the future when they just... They get old and, and the plastic gets a bit brittle. Um, so that's another good reason to have a grasshopper or to have another car like, let's say, I've got this armor um, granite here, which is a good one to pull out for other people to use, you know, so you can spare your race buggies. Because people that don't know about RC, they, they see these things, they see how well they go and they always want to have a go on them. and. Although I encourage that, you do need to get a little bit of skill first in driving before you just give out your expensive cars to people to use. So the grasshopper is perfect. It's perfect for a teenager first getting into RC or even younger than a teenager. You know, you could buy one of these for one of your children if you've got a young child. And, you know, dad or mum or whatever can help them build it. You know, follow the instructions. It's a great thing to do together. The excitement that the, the kid gets from as it's coming along and you know they, they, they learn that they have to put the effort in to get the end result of a running car and you know they can have hours of fun with these things so yeah the time your grasshopper is a, is a must have for every collection and when you've built something like that then you can build something like the the iconic midnight pumpkin here and you know, I've got Hornets and Rising Fighters and it gets quite addictive, so watch out, you know. But, um, yeah, that's some of the reasons. Probably the hardest thing when you're building this car is probably putting the stickers on. You know, you get right to the end of the car 
and it's something you don't want to stuff up as a sticker so you want to get that right take your time I suggest you watch a video there's videos out there on people putting stickers on people that really know what they're doing what stickers to put on first because um, I remember these two stickers that go here they meet sort of somewhere here in the middle I put I think it was this side on first really no I put the front on first really what I should have done is put the back one on first and then lined up the front with the back one because I've ended up with a slight gap another thing I did wrong was you can't see it there, but you can see there it's got pen bright sticker there that my eyesight's not that good I was looking at the picture and I thought it was the sticker that went on the side but they're actually supposed to go on here on the lights um, just like that on this midnight pumpkin and I ended up using the sticker I stuck it on I couldn't get it off so I ended up putting just little Tamiya stickers there so that annoyed me but it still looks bloody good I'm happy with the way it came out and um, it's not 100% box art but it's like 99% box art so hell of a lot of fun building a grasshopper to be honest I'd like to build another one but I don't need to um, but yeah I had a real good time as you see I haven't painted the driver don't think I'll bother I think there's going to be an albino driver in this one um, but yeah those are some of the reasons why you should own a grasshopper as well as that they're a tough car very very tough um, I've got a lot of like name brands like Armors and Lossies and that and I'll tell you what those things break before these do even though these have got plastic gearing in them and these other things have got metal gearing um, they're just so much quicker and they take a lot you know you have a lot more knocks with them so they break easier but these little things are tough man they're tough little cars underrated little cars anyway that's my video for today and there'll be a lot more coming so I hope you can subscribe to the channel and I'll start pumping out the videos again. Thank you.